Hello everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am happy to interact with you all through this video. I am going to discuss with you the accounting treatment for the preparation of punch flow statement using a practical problem in this video. These are all a few details related to me after watching the full video. If you really like the video, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel as well. Let's get into the problem. Following are the summarized balance sheets of Firestone Limited as of 31st December 1998 and 1999. So 1999 is the current year, 98 is the previous year in this problem. Let's have a look at the items given in the liability side of the balance sheets. Share capital, you find increase in the value of share capital. We will prepare a ledger account and come to know the reason. General reserve, you find increase in the value of general reserve, profit and loss account, opening and closing balances are given. Bank loan long term, opening was 70,000, closing is nil. This is nothing but repayment of the bank loan during the current year, which is an application of fund that would be taken over to the punch flow statement. Sunday creditors is a current liability which would be taken over to the schedule of changes in working capital. Provision for taxation, we will open a ledger account for it and come to know what changes have been taken place in provision for taxation. Land and building is a fixed asset, opening and closing balances are given. There is a decrease in the value of land and building, amount to 10,000 rupees. Machinery is another fixed asset, opening and closing balances are given. We will prepare a ledger account and come to know the changes taken place in machinery. Stock, Sunday debtors, cash and bank balances are current assets. They will be taken over to the schedule of changes in working capital to learn about the changes taken place in the working capital. Goodwill, there is an increase in the value of goodwill amount at 5000. We will look at the additional information and decide what is the reason for this increase in the value of goodwill. Additional information supplied during the year ended 31st December 1999, a dividend of 23,000 rupees was paid. The dividend paid has to be proposed first, therefore it has to be debited in the adjusted p and account because this is a non-operating item, it should be debited there. Followed by payment of dividend will be considered under application of funds flow statement. Assets of another company were purchased for a consideration of 50,000 rupees payable in shares. The following assets were purchased. Machinery 25,000, 25, stock 20,000. If you total this, uh, the value of these two assets, it comes to only 45,000. Whereas shares have been issued for a value of 50,000. So the difference between the value of these two assets, 45,000, and the value of shares issued 50,000 is 5,000. So the 5,000 rupees difference comes here is nothing but the value of shares issued for the goodwill of the vendor company which has sold these two assets to our company in the problem. Machinery was further purchased for 8000 rupees. So this is a cash purchase of machinery. So we can say machinery account debtor to cash account. It is an application of fund which would be considered in the punch flow statement. Depreciation written off against machinery amount at 12000 rupees. This is again a non-fund item, so it has to be debited in the adjusted p and account. The next additional information is income tax paid during the year 33,000 rupees. So this is the amount of tax paid. Since we are going to prepare a separate ledger account for provision for taxation, it will be channelized through that account. Moreover, this item being a payment of tax, it could be assumed as an application of fund and recorded in the punch flow statement. Loss on sale of machinery amount at 200 rupees was written off to general reserve. Normally, this used to be written off or adjusted against adjusted p and account or profit, but here it is adjusted against general reserve that again we will open a separate ledger account for general reserve and this item could be channelized through the general reserve account. You are required to prepare punch flow statement for the year 1999 and a schedule of changes in working capital. As usual, the current assets and current liabilities are taken over to schedule of changes in working capital and recorded here. While you record and analyze how these items contribute for change in working capital, you have to keep in mind the four formula which I again 
share with you through this video also they are nothing but increase in current asset leads to increase in working capital decrease in current asset leads to decrease in working capital increase in current liability leads to decrease in working capital decrease in current liability leads to increase in working capital keeping in mind the four formula you can prepare schedule of changes in working capital they have also done it so and arrived at the answer as decrease in working capital amounted 18900 now let's get into the ledger accounts first machinery account this is being an asset the opening balance of machinery 150000 is written in the debit side closing balance of 169000 rupees is written in the credit side we were informed that machinery worth of 25000 rupees was purchased by issuing shares this is one of the three assets we have purchased in this problem so entry for this particular transaction is machinery account debtor 25000 to share capital 25000 corresponding posting for this will be done in share capital account in addition to that we were informed that machinery valued 8000 rupees was purchased per cash so machinery account debtor to cash account 8000 8000 it's recorded then we were also informed that there was a loss of 200 rupees on sale of a part of machinery and the 200 rupees was adjusted against the general reserve when you adjust a loss on sale of machinery against general reserve general reserve balance will come down by 200 rupees general reserve is basically a credit balance account if you want to bring it down by 200 it has to be debited so general reserve account debtor to machinery account 200 200 for the loss on sale of machinery we were also informed through additional information that depreciation amount of 12000 rupees was provided this year what is the journal entry for depreciation adjusted profit and loss account debtor 12000 to machinery 12000 that's recorded now you find the balancing figure between the debit and credit side of machinery account you find the balancing figure of 1800 rupees in the credit side of this account which is nothing but sale of machinery you can very well assume it as sale of machinery the reason why i say that after you are informed about the amount of depreciation provided if you further find decrease in the value of a fixed asset the second reason is nothing but sale of a fixed asset and that is what done here so cash account it to machinery account the sale proceeds of machinery 1800 rupees will be taken over to sources side of funds flow statement now share capital account is open this is being a credit item opening balance is written in the credit side closing balance is written in the debit side now they have done posting of the journal for purchase of assets from a company by issuing shares valued 50000 what is the journal stock account debtor 20000 machinery account debtor 25000 goodwill account debtor 5000 to share capital account see among these three assets purchase of a current asset comes with a complication that's nothing but when you buy a current asset you assume that it affects a fund inflow so purchase of stock by issuing shares should be treated as sources of fund in the funds flow statement that is what i explain here in the working you can go through provision for taxation account is open next this is being a credit item the opening balance is written in the credit side 30000 closing is written in the debit side we were informed through an additional information that tax of 33000 rupees was paid during the year the journal entry for payment of taxes provision for taxation account debtor to cash account 33000 33000 now you find out the balancing figure that comes in the credit side amount at 38000 rupees which is nothing but current year provision for taxation so what is the journal entry for making provision for taxation during this year adjusted profit and loss account debtor to provision for taxation 38000 38000 next we move to the general reserve ledger account prepared this is being a credit item the opening is written in the credit side 50000 rupees closing is written in the debit side amount of 60000 rupees we learn that the loss on sale of machinery 200 rupees adjusted against the general reserve the entry for it we already discussed it general reserve account debtor to machinery account 200 200 
Now we find out the balancing figure, it comes to the credit side valued 10,200 which is nothing but the transfer of amount valued 10,200 from profit and loss account to general reserve account. The entry is adjusted profit and loss account, debtor to general reserve account. Now let's prepare the adjusted profit and loss account. This is being a credit item, the opening is written in the credit side. Buy balance brought down 30,500, two balance carried down 30,600. Now you go through the ledges you have prepared one after other and pick up the items that are related to the adjusted PNL account. See this one, adjusted PNL account attached to machinery and that would be recorded there. Then similarly, here when you come to provision for taxation, adjusted PNL account attached to provision for taxation, that would be recorded. Then adjust the PNL account to general reserve that would be recorded in adjust the PNL account. See, look at it. To depreciation on machinery 12,000, to provision for taxation 38,000, to general reserve 10,200. In addition to that, they have written this item. We will go through the liability side of the balance sheet first, followed by we will go through the asset side, then we will go through the additional information, and followed by we will close the adjusted PNL account. Let's go through the liability side. Is there any item we have not considered so far which will affect the adjusted PNL account? Share capital, it doesn't have any role to play there. General reserve, we open a separate ledger account and found out what is the amount of profit transfer to general reserve this year. It is already recorded. Then if you look at see provision for taxation, we already opened a ledger account and calculated the amount of tax provided this year and recorded in the adjusted PNL account. So this side is over. Go through these uh, asset items. Land and building, so far we have not opened any ledger account. You find decrease in the value of land and building amount at 10,000. There are two reasons for having decrease in the value of a fixed asset. In the order of priority, the first reason could be depreciation. The second reason is sale of the fixed asset. Here the problem is silent about the decrease in the value of this fixed asset land and building. So let us assume that the decrease of 10,000 rupees in land and building is nothing but depreciation and that would be taken over to adjusted profit and loss account. Machinery account of course we open a separate ledger account and found out what impact this account will have in the adjusted PNL account and that is also recorded. So no worries about it. Goodwill. It's only an increase if there is a decrease in the value of goodwill. We can write it as goodwill return off in the debit side of adjusted PNL account. So no problem regarding these assets. Regarding additional information A, yes. Dividend of 23,000 rupees was paid. Unless it is proposed through the profit and loss account, it cannot be paid. So let us debit this item in the adjusted PNL account as well to dividend proposed 23,000. So this will appear in the adjusted PNL account. Again, this will go to application of funds in the funds flow statement. Second adjustment doesn't have any role to play in the adjusted PNL account. Let's forget about it. The third adjustment, machinery was purchased. This is also not having any role to play in the adjusted PNL account. Depreciation on machinery 12,000 rupees, which is already recorded there. Income tax paid doesn't have any role to play. It's only the amount provided for tax during the year should be recorded in the adjusted PNL account that we already recorded. Loss on sale of machinery 200 was adjusted against the general reserve, so it doesn't affect the adjusted profit and loss account. Now let's go through the adjusted profit and loss account and close it. See, these items we already discussed. The depreciation on land and building we found just now. Dividend proposed also we found as per the additional information. Now we close the adjusted profit and loss account and find 93,300 rupees as a difference in the credit side of this account which is nothing but funds from operations. It would be taken over to the sources side of funds flow statement. Now let's go through the final answer that's nothing but funds flow statement. Sale of machinery we found as per the machinery account 1,800 rupees. Issue of shares for stock I told you already if any current asset purchased by issuing shares, it should be assumed as a source of fund. I have clearly explained the reason for it in the previous video titled Funds Flow Statement Practical Problem 9. Kindly go through that video also. I have given links for 
the other videos i have prepared on punch flow statement please go through the description and find their links punch from operation which is a source of fund recorded here decrease in working capital yes surplus in working capital will be returned back to the main pool of funds so it becomes source of a fund then repayment of bank loan i discussed with you in the beginning of the problem itself see look at the opening balance of bank loan 70000 but here the closing balance is nil and therefore let us assume that the bank loan has been repaid which is an application of a fund payment of tax we found this item as per an adjustment then uh, purchase of machinery, it was given in the adjustment 8,000 rupees. Dividend paid 23,000 rupees was also given the adjustment. So now if you close the funds flow statement, either side of funds flow statement gets tallied with the total of 1,34,000, 1,34,000. I hope you have understood my explanation on this accounting treatment of uh, funds flow statement. Please go through my other videos on the same topic if you are very serious about learning punch flow statement thoroughly. Have a happy learning everybody. Thanks for watching this video.